Strickland, we're going to begin tonight with the growing number of coronavirus cases across the state. With the first day of school quickly approaching, DHEC is imploring families to do what they can to slow the spread and protect their children. News 19's Julia Kaufman tonight telling us more. South Carolina's public health agency, DHEC, has released guidance for COVID-19 safety in schools. We strongly encourage all eligible students, parents, teachers, and school staff to get vaccinated as soon as possible. That is the best way to end this pandemic and to provide a safe space for our children to learn and our educators to teach. DHEC's public health director, Dr. Brandon Traxler, recommends mask wearing and three feet of social distancing, just like last year. But this time around, masks cannot be mandated due to state law. A proviso passed by the General Assembly prohibits schools from mandating masks in their education facilities, but it doesn't apply to school buses. Our recommendation is that, that they continue to follow um, the CDC's federal order um, that does require uh, masks uh, to be worn on school buses. The South Carolina Department of Education says they will not be enforcing face masks on school buses statewide. There is a federal order from the CDC mandating masks on buses, but the agency says that'll be up to districts on whether to enforce or not. The goal throughout all of this is to protect our children and everyone who plays a role in educating them. Dr. Traxler says these safety measures are as important as ever now that South Carolina is seeing over a thousand cases a day and they're seeing more cases in younger individuals. Which is partially due to the fact that, as you noted, under 12 are not even eligible for vaccination and, and then the teenagers and young adults have lower rates of vaccination than our, than our older population does. DHEC also recommends schools take steps to ensure students that do wear masks are not bullied or criticized for doing so. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.